I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. A little argumentative, don't you think? Oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. Thank now, you. Now, are you... We did. After August 6, 2016, were you involved in any other stories involving Ms. Heard? Yes, I was. And what story was that? Um, on the 12th, we received a video um, depicting um, Johnny Depp um, slamming some cabinets that was captured by Ms. Heard. And what day was that? I believe that was the t August 12th. Of 2016? Of 2016, yes. Can you describe to the jury how you received the video on August 12, 2016? Yes, the video was sent in through our email tip line, which is uh, an email distribution that goes to all the producers and to myself as the field assignment manager because it often included celebrity locations. The It came in as, as I recall, a... Objection, just, hearsay. He's just describing how it came in. He's I think he's about to reveal hearsay, Your Honor. Uh, I'll overrule for now. We'll see where it goes. Okay. Please continue. So I received that email, and it included a link from some unknown Dropbox-type um, uh, public uh, website in which it contained Objection, that video. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. He's about to describe what's what comes from the Dropbox website, and that's... So far as you said, he's, uh, was a link from the Dropbox. We'll see the next question. Go ahead, next question. So you received a link. What was in that link? In that link was the video of Johnny Depp smashing the cabinets. And you received this video in your inbox, correct? I did. Okay. What did you do once you received that video? Um, we downloaded it. We, we alerted the web editor who was sitting next to me at the time. Um, we downloaded it and then were instructed by the uh, news producer to do what we call slap um, bumpers and a bug on it, which is putting the dun 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 at the beginning end, and then uh, putting a uh, translucent watermark over it, which indicates copyright ownership. Okay. After you did that, was it posted? It was posted, yes. Where was it posted? It was posted to TMZ.com. Did you do anything else related to Amber Heard on August 12, 2016? Um, yes, I received a tip that Amber Heard would be arriving at LAX, and so I dispatched camera people to uh, film that exit, or her, um, her arrival to LAX, rather. And why did you do that? Um, I was instructed to. How long does it take to post a story after media has been received by TMZ? After media has been received, um, it could take any length of time depending on who owns the copyright. How does TMZ obtain copyright over images and videos? Um, the only way to obtain copyright over media would be if we shot it ourselves, if it was sent to the tip line, source verified that it was from the original copyright owner, and then either purchased from that person or given to us, and then the third option would be if it was directly given to us by the copyright holder, like a direct source. And how long does it take to copyright something TMC has received through the tip line? Uh, it can take a while because you have to extensively verify that that person owns the copyright. And then possibly, it, it depends also if they, you can even get in contact with the person because they might not be super responsive immediately um, via phone or email that they provided. And then potentially you'd have to enter a negotiation with our clips and clearances department to uh, figure out the cost of that media. How long does it take for TMZ to obtain a copyright or something received directly from a source? Something in the realm of 15 minutes just to do what I described before, which is putting bumpers and a bug on something and write the article and post it. It's pretty fast. How much time had passed from the time you received the kitchen cabinet video to the time it was posted on TMZ? About 15 minutes. Did any other tabloids other than TMZ post this video? Objection no, the leading and calls for hearsay. Did any other tabloids? Over overrule. Mr. Tremaine, go ahead. No, they did not. And why not? Um, because it was a TMZ exclusive. 
And what does that mean? It means that TMZ owns the copyright to it. So it can't be distributed by any other media source without backlinking to TMZ. And they wouldn't be able to upload that media without uh, getting a copyright strike. Have you seen the kitchen cabinet video that was played in this trial? I have, yes. How does that video that was played in this trial compare to the one you received on August 12, 2016? Um, when I had clicked the direct link that we received and watched the video in its entirety, it was much shorter than the video we had received uh, than the video that's been played in this trial. There was some a bit at the beginning that was played here in which Ms. Hurd is um, seemingly sort of sitting at the camera and getting into position, and then there's a bit at the end where she's seemingly snickering and looks at the camera. That part was not present in what we received. Did TMZ edit the video? No, not even a little. When we receive something and it's edited, there's a clear indicator because there's a, sort of a journalistic practice that uses um, when there's an edit, you do what's called a, like a white flash transition, which covers the entire screen with white to very clearly indicate to everybody there was an edit here for time or whatever, um, just for to make it a little more compelling. But in this case, it was not edited um, as I was staring at the machine and edited it and present for the entirety of receipt to publishing. When was the next time you worked on an assignment related to Amber Heard? Um, it was, well, uh, there was the, the time where we went to the airport. And then the day after that, because um, she had flown in for the deposition, because I, I think the first time didn't work out. Um, so she was arriving again for the deposition in that same um, parking lot adjacent to a, um, a law office. And what's that, August 13th, 2016? That was August 13th, yeah. And what was your assignment on August 13th, 2016? Uh, to dispatch camera people to that parking lot at a specific time in order to film Amber Heard arriving for the deposition. How did you know that tip was legitimate? Uh, it came from a news producer. While you worked at TMZ, did you ever receive any communications from Mr. Depp or his camp? I did not. Nothing further, Your Honor. Cross examination. Yes. Uh, so, how do you know? what video was shown at this trial? Um, I was alerted by a friend that, um, that TMZ was being kind of talked about in this trial, and so I had seen a clip of that. Okay. So you watched some of this trial? Correct. Okay. When did you first reach out to counsel for Mr. Depp? Um, I believe that was six days ago, whatever that date would be, I'd have to do that. All right. And then you received a subpoena, I think, yesterday in care of your attorney, Cindy Hickox, right? Correct. Okay. And Cindy Hickox represents Christy Dombrowski, Kate James, Robin Baum. Objection, Your Honor. Were you aware Calls of that? Calls for speculation. O overruled. Were you aware of that? No. Okay. Now, if you don't have information that's helpful to this case, then you wouldn't be a witness, correct? Objection, uh, calls for speculation. Uh, sustained, I'm, sustained, next question. I'm not aware. Right. Okay, you know, this, you know this case is being televised, right? I, I am aware that there are cameras. And so this gets you your 15 minutes of fame, doesn't Objection, it? Objection, Your Honor, argumentative. I, I can ask that question. Both ruled. Um, so I stand to gain nothing from this. I'm actually putting myself kind of in a target of TMZ, a very litigious uh, organization and I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. So you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. A little argumentative, don't you think? Oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. Thank now, you. Now, are you aware that Mr. Depp's attorneys were well aware of the TRO that was going to be presented on May 27th? Objection, calls for speculation. Were you aware of that? 